Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Max from CryptoPotato.com and today we're going to have a look at a very interesting tokenized security platform, Currency. It's a platform that enables anyone who holds any crypto like Bitcoin to trade financial assets, indices, and commodities. Basically, the currency platform gives the option for people who hold cryptocurrencies to hedge the financial markets without having to convert their crypto into fiat. Another interesting thing to note is that the currency platform also provides cryptocurrency margin trading. So far, there are only three cryptos that can be leveraged, the largest ones, namely Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. The platform aims to establish itself as one of the predominant players in the field. So if you want to know how to trade, how to deposit, and how to buy traditional assets using cryptocurrencies, this is the video for you. Hello again, so let's get started by clicking on the Trade Now button. If you already have an account, you'll see the Trade Now button. If you don't, you'll also see another button here which says Sign Up, and you'll have to go through a fairly simple KYC procedure where you'll have to provide your ID or passport as well as proof of address so the team can verify. This is because Currency.com is a regulated exchange and everything has to be done by the book. Now, let's move forward and click on the Trade Now button. Now we're going to go to the trading interface of the exchange. The trading interface is fairly straightforward and easy to understand. Everything is displayed on this page, but let's start from top to bottom. Here, we could see the regular trading exchange as well as the margin trading. Let's first have a look at the regular trading. Here we can see wallets as well as cryptocurrency exchange. You can deposit US dollar, Belarusian ruble, Russian ruble, euro, or alternatively, you can deposit Litecoin, Ethereum, and of course, Bitcoin. On the left, you can see different sections of the trading interface. You can see the most traded currency pairs as well as our favorite ones. There's also the biggest winners and the biggest losers, as well as the most volatile assets. Down here, we have traditional financial instruments that Currency.com allows you to trade with. Please note that these are not regular traditional shares, but they are tokenized shares. Currency Exchange is a tokenized securities exchange. Tokenized securities are tokens which represent the price for their underlying assets. These assets can be shares, commodities, indices, and tokenized bonds. When it comes to the financial outcome though, it's pretty much the same as if you're trading the regular asset. The platform is set to introduce various tokens which are back to their underlying market price of different asset classes. As of now, there's less than 10,000, but there is more than enough for you to trade on. Some examples of tokenized shares can be Coca-Cola, Amazon, Apple, indices such as the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and S&P commodities. such as gold, natural gas, crude oil, silver, and many more. Looking here on the indices, you can see here the most popular ones. Here are NASDAQ, S&P, Dow Jones, as well as Euro stocks. Okay, now it's time to learn how to trade. Here on the main menu in our example, we will go to the most traded pairs, as we can see Bitcoin is very popular here against the US dollar and Ethereum. Just a quick reminder to trade, we must deposit before we actually start trading. We've started with about $100 in our account. Now, let's move forward, and in, and in this example, we're going to select Ethereum to US dollar. Here, we could see the hours change in price from the trading pair, also the price and buttons to sell and button to buy. Let's assume that we believe that the pair is going to be increasing in its value. Therefore, we want to open a buy position. This is an automatic market order form. Please note that this is not a limit order, but it's a market order. And if you click now on the buy button, you're going to be buying at the spot market price. If you want to make a limit order in order to buy at a certain present price, all you have to do is click on this button right here. And that's where you'll have to input the price that you want to buy at. 
but for our trade example, we're going to open a buy position using the market order. Here, you can decide what percentage of your portfolio you want to allocate into this new trade. Let's say we want to buy 10%. So we could see here the ratio is automatically calculated and you could see the commission. At today's price, we will buy Ethereum against the dollar. To place the order, all we have to do is press the buy button and that's all. Our new trade is accomplished. We have successfully bought 0.05 Ethereum against the US dollar. The cool thing is that it gets automatically listed here and not only here, but pretty much everywhere else that Ethereum is traded on the platform. So now we can sell it for Bitcoin or we could sell it for Belarusian rubble. Okay, now it's time to close. Let's say we want to sell the position for a US dollar. All we have to do is click the sell button here and then it gets the sell order again, which is a market order. Although, as we said, you can easily put a limit order, but in this case, it won't be executed immediately. So let's sell at a market order again. We can select what percentage we want to sell. From our position, we can just enter 0 0.05, like the amount we bought before. Hit the sell button, and there you go. The trade is completed. We've sold successfully 0 0.05 Ethereum, pretty much the same price we bought it for with a little loss. So now that we've covered how to trade without margin, let's move forward to the more interesting trading seeing how we can margin trade on cryptocurrency. You have to click on the leverage here, as you can see. Now we can see all of the trading pairs which are open for margin trading. As you can see, we have the sell option active, meaning that we can short sell. If you think that the price of a certain asset is going to decrease, you can short it, or in other words, you want to sell order. If you think the price is going to go up, you wanna go long, this is also known by buying order. So let's use the same example as before. Let's say we want to buy Ethereum because we believe that it will go up. From here, we would want to go long again. We need to click buy, but this time you see we're getting a slightly different screen. Like before, we have to put in the amount that we want to buy. Let's use 10% of our portfolio we're going to buy 0.98, but here you could see that it costs only US dollar. This is because we're using a 20 times leverage, meaning that our investment is 20 times lower because we're borrow borrowing money from the exchange. Let's now switch it to a double X leverage. Now you can see exactly how this changed from 0.98 to it's reduced 10 times and our investment now is about is at 0 0.1 so it stays the same another change here is that you can also set a stop loss a stop loss command is used to limit your potential losses for example if you go long but the price goes the other way down you will auto sell your loss when it reaches a certain amount there are three different options the first stop loss option is sell if loss is, and you specify a certain amount. So let's say you don't wanna lose more than $1 on this trade. You just put $1 and that's it. You also have a second option. This is called distance. Distance means how much the price has to go down in order for your position to be closed. In this example, we say that if Ethereum moves down by $10, your position is going to be automatically closed. And the last one is the price level, which here you set up an exact price. Here we've entered the trade at 196.88 US dollars. And we think we don't wanna lose any more money if it goes below 186. So that's what we're going to input here. And that's our stop loss. Another option is the opposite direction, take profit. The take profit command is just as important as stop loss. You can set it up in order for your position to be automatically closed if the price reaches a certain profit point. We have the same options as in stop loss. Let's say we want to take our profits when Ethereum hits $220. You just type that in and hit enter, and that's when your position will be automatically closed. This is very convenient since we're not always on the computer. We are sleeping sometimes, but the markets are open, some of them always. 
as you know, cryptocurrency markets are very volatile. So this is something very, very useful, which can both allow you to capitalize on your profits on the increasing price, and it can limit your losses if the price goes the other way, which we know is entirely possible. So let's say that this is our order and we want to mark it by 0.1 Ethereum at 196 with the leverage level of double X. Now we have set these particular conditions for our order. All we need to do now is hit the buy button. And again, you could see here that you've bought the amount of 0.1 Ethereum at 196 with a double leverage, double X leverage. And here again, you could take a look at your new position. Now, if you want to close your position, the only thing that you have to do here is click the X button. And that's pretty much it. This is going to be closing your position manually. As you can see, the currency.com platform is asking you if you're sure you want to sell 0.1 Ethereum with the following result. We will be losing four cents on this position, but you get the gist of how this works. So once we are sure, all that's left to do is just close it by pressing the sell button and we're done. So that is our short guide on currency.com trading. So that is pretty much an overall view of this platform. There really is nothing challenging about it whatsoever. The good thing is that you can also buy different types of commodities such as natural gas, oil and gold if you want to hedge some investments. Additionally, you can invest your crypto from popular industries indices and the leading company shares. As you can see, you can long as well as short. Currency.com has lots of different options and a huge plus is that Currency.com is regulated. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click on the like button and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.